During the final days leading up to my retirement in 2018, I started to feel chest pains at night. However, I didn't understand what the symptom meant. The following morning, I visited a military hospital as part of a routine checkup. It was during the cardiac ultrasound that they discovered my ejection fraction was very low. I never imagined I was already in the final stages of heart failure. I was in the hospital with my mom. She came to visit me. She saw her transplant doctor when he looked at her, looked at me together and he said, Madam Peng, your daughter has the same condition as you, which is dilated cardiomyopathy. But then I never expect that I was diagnosed with end stage at a period of time when the doctor spoke to me. I was in and out of hospital. I was always in bed. I couldn't even lie down flat because I couldn't breathe. I had water in my lungs, so I had to sit while sleeping. And it was very struggling because you just cannot live your life well. You cannot sleep even though you're sleepy. You cannot eat even though you're hungry. You don't even have the strength to shower. And that was the difficulty I was facing uh, when I was having heart failure. I served in the Vietnamese People's Army for over 40 years. Despite my physically demanding lifestyle, I never considered the possibility of heart failure. I went for regular checkups, including coronary artery ultrasounds and general health examinations, but there were no concerns raised. Throughout my life, I never experienced elevated blood pressure, which led me to become somewhat complacent in terms of my lifestyle choices and adherence to medication. Although I never smoked, I regularly enjoyed alcohol. I also fell short in terms of following the doctor's advice on how to use my medication appropriately. On two occasions, I was hospitalized due to fluid retention in my heart chambers, a result of my tendency to consume high sodium foods. Through the 10 years, I have lost many, many friends who have went through the suffering with me. and. Honestly, I am one of the few ones that are still around. The last one that is still alive is the last one that died two days ago. So I don't have anyone left. And then I had the fear of uh, making friends with patients already. Because the more I make friends with them, the more I lose them. So I stopped actually. I stopped knowing anybody already. Because it's very tough seeing everyone just pass on. Most people with heart disease have to take medication for the entirety of their lives, which can be a burden they and their families have to bear. I hope that healthcare institutions and insurance agencies will provide favourable conditions for these individuals to ensure access to necessary medical examinations and treatment. People don't really know what heart failure is. People think that heart failure is just, you know, your heart is weaker, that's all. People don't know that actually you are actually suffering and you cannot do daily life. Get checked up early uh, because you never know what condition you have. And sometimes when you find out, it's too late. And you don't have time to live your life and do what you want to do. Regular checkups are necessary. If any abnormalities are detected, a thorough examination should be conducted. Every aspect from diet to lifestyle require careful attention as you age.